Dog goes woof, cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Cow goes moo, frog goes crow. Okay, guys, here uh, I'm trying to do a this small review for um, this new company called Mint Sim. Um, I went on and I ordered um, this Mint Sim. And uh, I've been doing a little research on them. Um, I went ahead and I bought like a one month um, plan to test it out. Um, for those of you who don't know, MinSim is a sub um, mobile virtual network operator working under Ultra. As you can see advertised in their own website. Um, it says MinSim by Ultra. Um, I don't know, I've been seeing a lot of uh, reviews um, about these uh, mobile virtual network operators and the sad thing to say about these is that they don't last too long. However, this one I think uh, sounds a little bit promising. They're actually a sub MVNO from Ultra Mobile as I mentioned before and if you visit um, the Ultra Mobile website, um, they've been around for a while, so I guess they've proven that this sort of works out. Um, they have pretty good coverage, and it doesn't say on the website which um, which company is or who who are they under. But if you do a little bit of uh, Google research, uh, you're gonna see that they run on the T-Mobile network. And they provide uh, some GSM, UMTS, and LTE. So I guess it's safe to assume that MintSim is going to provide the same type of um, coverage. Now, there is a little catch with these guys from what I've been seeing. Basically, the thing is that the way that you're going to um, see... A reduction in your bill is basically by buying multiple months at the same time now if you look at their website for example they have a 12 month option which I guess is the one that they're trying to push because if you look um, they break it down it comes out to basically um, $21 per month for a total of 250 now um, you have to obviously check in your area what the coverage is like so I'm guessing if your coverage for T-Mobile sucks in your area it'll probably suck for this company too now um, if you choose any other option for example the uh, six months you can see it recalculates the one I did basically $35 for a month I am still a little skeptical about them I am not ready to commit to 12 months of coverage under a company that just just launched so I guess I'll be posting another review later on um, once that month is by to see how is it going now what I want to do is um, also uh, take a walkthrough with you guys of how to set up the activation and all of that so I'll head to that in a second okay now I went ahead and um, already popped out the sim card from the, uh, the little package that comes in you can see they bring you invoice it has some information the serial number that you might want to keep handy um, you get this little uh, package right here you open it you get this booklet you get the actual sim card with the serial number which you should always save just in case and the little booklet as you can see should give you all the information so I guess they have here a little bit of their um, differences this uh, when you read it through you're gonna see that it's a little more um, 
I don't know, I guess the, they're joking about the differences between the foxes. I really don't get what it is that they're trying to get at, but I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can tell me in the comments. Now when you go in here, you can see the, uh, the steps for activating it. Basically going on their website. Um, following these instructions right here. Now I didn't see an option to actually get a phone number. This okay guys, uh, you're going to have to excuse me. I had a little accident with my tripod. But um, basically recapping on uh, what I was saying. Um, I didn't see an option for actually getting a new phone number. So the way that this is going to work is basically you're going to port your phone number from your existing company and um, it says here that it should more or less work in less than 24 hours it says most of the time it'll take just minutes so we're about to find out okay the rest is just instructions on how to insert sim card um, setting up your data if it's an Android phone You can see here instructions for setting up data for an iPhone and small print. You might want to read that. So I always tell people always read the small print. That's where you're gonna find out the catch of all these things. So let's move on. I've already um, put in my uh, SIM card into uh, my phone. I didn't want to try this on my actual contract phone. So I have a prepaid AT&T phone which I don't mind. Um, as long as I keep my phone number, um, barely use this so we're going to give it a try. Okay. Now according to the instructions on the website you're gonna go to the website um, you're going to go to the option for activating you're gonna type in the activation code you're gonna type it in I'm not about to put this info out there so give me a second So the activation code is actually going to be on the top corner of the SIM card. Get a little animation here. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. Um, there is an option for getting a new number, and then also an option for transferring an existing number. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the next steps, and I'll show you. Um, I'll get back to you show you how this okay so I basically um, moved one step ahead in the uh, activation I actually decided to um, request a new phone number I tried to use their chat now option I've been waiting for practically over an hour have not received anything yet so I guess I'll take my chances with that um, and just before you continue, you're gonna notice that um, you're gonna have to check on this uh, refund policy, which is basically saying that um, you cannot return once it's been um, activated, which is uh, pretty sensible. 
At least if any of you have ever worked retail, you're going to know about that. Um, so let's go ahead. There we go. So yeah guys, you're gonna have to uh, excuse me for the shaky camera. I actually had a mishap with my uh, tripod, so I'm kind of uh, trying to use the uh, stabilizer manually. Um, not so good. Okay, so again, we're gonna stop at this option. I'm gonna fill it out. And I'll get back to you Okay, so um, they actually have an option for um, auto recharging, putting your credit information. Again, I'm just doing this as a test for a month, so I really do not want to put my credit card information in there. Um, the activation is complete. Um, I'm blocking the phone number right here, but um, they assigned me already my phone number and it's right there. Um, they also walk you through um, uh, creating a login so that you can log in I guess monthly or whatever and recharge your account um, Another thing that I forgot to mention um, earlier about this company uh, basically They also offer uh, what they call bolt-on um, data which you can uh, I guess if you are close to exceeding your limit of the data for your plan you can go ahead and purchase additional um, the prices are actually uh, on the website um, the only drawback about that is basically you're not allowed to roll over that additional data that you have purchased so it will have to be consumed um, before your next um, installment or recharge and it's only monthly Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with uh, turning on the phone and all of that. I'll be right. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. Um, I've already uh, popped in my uh, SIM card to my phone. As you can see, this is a simple a uh, AT&T Go phone. and power it on. Again, as I was saying, uh, this company is uh, barely, is roughly new to the market. Um, they're attached to the T-Mobile network. I really, um, as I said before, I was a little skeptical uh, given that these companies don't really last long in the market. But uh, let's see how this one uh, goes. Uh, hopefully it actually performs good. So let's see what happens already gone and activated it. Um, I chose to get a new number instead. Um, so let's see what happens. As I can see it's taking a little bit longer than normal um, for the phone to prop up. Just give it a few seconds. Okay, so I can already see um, off the bat that there were there's a little message on top coming. So yeah, I'm getting this SIM network unlock pin. Okay. Um. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. 
So let me try to figure that out and I'll get back to you guys because I'm pretty sure um, some of you are going to run into the same kind of issues. Again, I've been going back and forth, googling everything. Um, as I said, there's um, there's not many reviews out there. Um, I could probably post a link to the two or three that I've seen um, in the description below. But I have not seen really a lot of video reviews about it. And I'm pretty excited to be one of the first. Uh, so, I guess, again, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so back to you. What I've decided basically to do was use my unlocked phone. I have a totally carrier unlocked phone. Let's see if that works. I had no luck with the other phone, which happens to be a prepaid um, AT&T GO phone. So let's give this a try. I'm currently running it on the AT&T network, but um, hopefully this performs a little bit better. Let me just wipe that screen horrible right now okay, that should do the trick let's go ahead and power it on okay, here we go. so as I was doing is I was going again through the website and um, I seen that basically they have no roaming so for those of you um, who plan on taking it with you you might have to read through the uh, fine print to see what terms what prices apply to you um, they also have certain um, uh, different costs for international calling um, so you would want to read that as well but um, I think it's pretty good I mean for unlimited talk and text um, and which the, the one thing that I find surprising is how they say that it has unlimited data when they clearly are selling you data plans for 2, 5 and 10 gigabytes okay so there we go just got this message voicemail let's see what happens okay okay so let's see how that's performing okay so apparently I do have um signal let me go ahead and give uh, make a phone call real quick me not disclose any personal phone numbers to anybody let's see okay. okay so apparently it's making calls um let me see if I can send a text message real quick. Uh, well, let me try um uploading a data streaming service. See how good this data service is. I mean, it is marking as if there is LTE coverage. Okay, so the pictures in his mind arose. I think we're pretty safe to say this LTE service is pretty good. And all the guys in all the worlds began colliding on a backdrop of blue. Again, guys, if you haven't checked out this new company called uh, Mint Sim, um, I guess. Uh, I can say that it's safe to give it a try. Um, seems promising, like I mentioned before. Um, just make sure that you uh, read through the website um, to make sure that it accommodates to your needs. 
um, that you are ready to commit to the service plan. Um, remember, if you're purchasing 12, 6, 3 months, um, you, I'm guessing you would like to see how it performs in your area. Um, I so far have nothing negative to say. Um, I guess I should be making uh, another review where I give you a little bit uh, of a better idea um, past the one, two uh, week mark. So let's see how that goes. Until next time, guys. Ow, ow, ow. But there's no sound that no one knows. What does the fuck say?